Okay, evening kids. This is just some quick thoughts on Arrow. Now, I've been thinking about doing some podcasts for Arrow. You know, maybe after the season ends, we'll sit down and do a season end review. And I was going to call it Freedom's Arrow, hence the graphic you saw when you clicked on this video. But, so, consider that name taken. But, some quick thoughts on Arrow. All right, well, a lot of people keep talking about the quote-unquote Olicity thing, which is, you know, Oliver and Felicity. Um, people are like, well, how come every time it looks like they're about to get together, something ticks one of them off and they're apart again? Very simple. It's called avoiding, in TV terms, the moonlighting syndrome. Now, for a lot of you folks who are not aware of this, because this was a long time ago, back in the distant 80s, when Max Hedron was something that you could understand, and I'm not talking about this, you know, the amount of space you have to wiggle your head around in your car. But um, what happened was there was a show called Moonlighting. It featured two main characters. One, David Addison, played by Bruce Willis, and Sybil Shepard playing Maddie Hayes. Now, a lot of sexual tension, a lot of flirting on and off between these characters for a couple seasons. And the show was doing really well. Fantastic. Then, finally, one dark, dank night. They did the bad thing. Ratings? <laughs> Dropped through the floor. Because once the two characters got together, that was it. Everything everybody had been looking forward to, been waiting for, it was already accomplished on screen. Therefore, ker pluey, it was done. And I think that's probably one of the reasons why they keep doing this with, you know, Felicity and Oliver, is they're avoiding the moonlighting syndrome. Now, join us next time as we talk about another famous TV thing, Jumping the Shark. That's a funny one. But okay, that's just my brief view on it. I think that's why they're doing this. So, take it as you will. Good night.